All right, part four of composite solid volume. If you watched the previous three videos, this one's going to be very similar to it. I'll do two examples. Uh, we're kind of ramping up the intensity, the complexity of these, these examples here uh, as we go along. But uh, basically what we're doing here is we're trying to find how much volume, the total volume that is inside this cone on top of a hemisphere. So if we were to think about this as sort of liquid or something, how much liquid can fit inside the whole thing, right? And when we say composite, all we're really saying is two shapes, two or more shapes kind of fit together. Or in our second example, you'll see that you can actually subtract something. So kind of complex stuff here. But there's a cone sitting on top of half of a sphere. Half of a sphere is a hemisphere. We're going to add those two volumes. So here we go. Let's go uh, volume of the cone first. Volume of the cone, we've done a few of these. It's a third times pi r squared times h. And let's see, a third times pi, the radius is given, 28 squared, and the height is given to, simple enough. So we're going to find that and we're going to add that to the volume of the hemisphere. Now the volume of a hemisphere is, is the volume of a sphere, 4 thirds pi r cubed, divided by 2. The hemisphere means half. Well that's actually equal to 2 thirds pi r cubed. It's a little bit of a simpler formula there. So 2 thirds pi times radius cubed and we'll just add those two together. So this volume plus this volume. So we'll get our calculators going. Here we go. One third times pi times 28 times 28 times 49 plus two thirds times pi times 28 to the third power. The third power is in the math menu down here at the third option. You just press three and you, you'll get it. 86.205 is what I got. And let's see. 86.205. For some reason it doesn't seem right. Let me check it again. Let me see if I made any mistakes here. Radius one third pi r squared times h plus two thirds pi r cubed. Check my calculator again. Make this a little bit bigger. One third pi r squared times h plus two thirds pi. Yeah, looks good. All right, so that's volume of the total thing right down there and we will put a label on that right volume is always a cubic measurement so it's cubic feet all right so if anybody ever asks you like what does that mean right volume what does that actually mean in that number that really big crazy number that's how much stuff you can fit inside of here if this were an actual thing in real life first of all it would be humongous but second of all that's how much stuff you can fit inside of it whether it's liquid or air or ice cream, I don't know. There'll be an awful lot of ice cream, but anyway, number two. Number two is a little bit more of an interesting, we did one like this in class, but uh, it's more of an interesting case, right? So far we've been adding everything together, but now what we're looking at here is a cylinder, a big cylinder that has radius nine and a small cylinder, so a big cylinder and a small cylinder that has a radius of five. And the small cylinder is taken out of the big cylinder, it's subtracted. All right, that's what they're trying to show you here. This cylinder right in here is subtracted from 
the big cylinder. So we're going to take it out of there, just a little minus, that's all that is. So the volume of the big cylinder is pi r squared h. r, as I said, is 9. h is 3 minus volume of the small cylinder. Same formula, different numbers. It is, let's see, pi times radius is 5. Pi times 5 squared, same height though. All right, the height is right here. It's given as 3. That would be this distance. Okay, so we are good to go. I'll check my work here to make sure that this is 9. That's good. And this is 5. Yeah, that makes sense. So let's go to our calculators. Uh, before you go to your calculators, you can actually you can actually uh, simplify some of this. If you put 3 pi in front, and you put 3 pi in front, if you wanted to, you can factor out a 3 pi if you wanted to. But let's not do that. Let's not overcomplicate the matter. We'll just go right to our calculators, and we'll say, uh, th let's see, I'm going to go 9 squared. That's 81 times 3 pi minus 5 squared is 25 times 3 pi and you get 527.788 527.788 and that's the volume of the entire thing so that was really one of the first ones that we've looked at where we had to do some subtraction because there was a shape that was literally removed from the inside. This pink one is removed from the inside of the whole cylinder. All right, so uh, that was part four. Part five will follow shortly and it'll also have two more examples. So all together after all five of these videos you'll have five volume, excuse me, you'll have ten composite volume problems.